You guys have done such an amazing job from the close reading, to uh, identifying those central ideas, studying them, and then going into that language dive. We've been doing a lot of sitting, a lot more than we would really like, right? So we're gonna get up and move around to debrief um, our content for the day, what we learned about our topic and our text, and also our learning targets with a back-to-back, face-to-face protocol, okay? So when I say go, you're going to stand up, push in your chairs if you can, and you're gonna find somebody, not at your table, to stand back to back to. And you're gonna mind your space and your body, right? And then you're just gonna stand there silently. And then I'm gonna read the question to you and then give you a second to think about what you wanna share. And then I'll say face to face and you're gonna turn and you're gonna share. When you're done, go and find a new partner to stand back to back to for our second and last question of the day, okay? All right, who can repeat those instructions really quickly? Because I know that's kind of complex. Marissa, go ahead. When do you go face to face? when I tell you to. The reason why I'm saying that is because I want everyone to have enough time to really think about their response, okay? All right, back to back. Someone not at your table, move around, stretch those legs. There's lots of space in the front of the room, you can spread out. <laughs> We might need a triad. Riker, share, go with a triad. Make, make a group of three. Share with these, yep. Okay, perfect. All right, first question. What connections can you make between the lost girls and a long walk to water? So think back. We spent a whole day out of a long walk to water. Think about Naya and Salva and everything that we've learned so far about their journeys. What connections can you make to what we read in the story today? Give me a thumbs up when you are like, I've got it. All right, face to face. So one connection I can make is that they're both, um, they both tell the story, well, they both tell the story of like a war, um, even though um, the lost, um, the, a long walk to water tells you um, about the war or saw, or a story during the war, and um, the lost gr girls of Sudan tells you a story after the war. They both tell like what they went through and um, how, and the journey they had. Wrap up your conversations. Find a new partner. Find a new partner. Remember, you can spread out. There's lots of room up here. If you're in a, you guys are kind of, okay? All right. Your second question is to think about that goal. Remember at the beginning of the lesson, we looked at the learning targets. These are not new, right? And I asked you to set a goal for yourself. What was something, make sure we're listening, that you, want, you wanted to improve upon when it comes to your mastery of these two targets? Did you meet that goal? Why or why not? How do you know? What evidence do you have that supports that, yeah, I did meet my goal? Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. Face to face, last one. Uh -huh. 